Hey, what's up? This is uh, Tom, this is Nathan, I'm Aaron, and we're in India. Mumbai, India. Riding bikes, sort of. <laughs> things that we saw that I'd never seen before and overwhelming at first I've never been speechless that like this many times because I'm fucking never speechless but this place it'll do it to you you just can't even think of anything to say yeah I feel like the first cab ride from the airport to the hotel like we probably didn't say but like 10 words to each other just because we we're just staring out the window at all the crazy there was shit. like fires on the streets it was like real you know like it's the stuff you always see on see on TV but like you don't really know where that is and you don't it's you never hits you you know until you like are standing in front of it but like, it's weird because there is nice parts of the city but yeah. there's a lot of really grimy stuff you know and like a lot of stuff that you know makes you appreciate everything that you have back home there's just so many people and uh so many so many things that are really crazy there's not much to ride like we went the whole entire first day without finding anything to ride. I think Didn't we, I think we actually found one thing and it was one of those spots that we were like forcefully making it into a spot in our head. The hardest part is like the crowds, you know? Yeah, like, people just gathered and gathered and gathered. Any spot is like riding in a stadium full of people. It's like, like a flat ledge <laughs> stadium. It starts with about it's 10. It's like doing a demo at every spot basically. And within about 20 minutes, I mean 10 minutes, there's easily a hundred people there. I don't think there was ever a time we rode there wasn't less than 70 people. You know, whenever you fall and it hurts, you want, you know, you need to concentrate for a second so it doesn't hurt that bad. You need to just like focus, what just happened, totally a shit, or I got it. But you can't focus whenever there's like 60 to 80 people around you. So I'm laying on the ground <laughs> in a lot of pain and I'm surrounded by people. You I'd know, say there's like, 50 people to 60 people directly around you. And uh, I fucking lost it. I threw a fucking fit, man. Go! 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 Quit looking at me! Quit looking at me! Quit looking at me! <laughs> Coolest train ride ever. Was the coolest train the ride first ever. Few stops. The the best and the worst train ride <laughs> yeah. ever, right? The doors don't close, by the way. Yeah, the doors don't close. Doors They're don't open. Even, there's the not even fucking doors <laughs> on the damn train. It's wide open. There's a fucking pole in the middle. Dude, it was pretty wild. You could give high fives to oncoming trains. You actually. could give high fives they, to other trains. They'll do it too. They'll hold their hand out, but you'll more than likely puss out because you're hauling ass and looks like it hurt really bad. Yeah. So we're on the train for about five stops. Three before when we were gonna get off, this guy's like, hey, you should move your bag. And at that moment, we look, and there is a tsunami of people trying to get into a six foot wide door. It's like they all just funneled in and just stopped well, at the door. Because they couldn't get through it because there were so I many people. I wouldn't even say they stopped at the door, they got jammed at the door. They got jammed at the door. Shoulder to shoulder, fucking. Dude, no, no. <laughs> like, literally, dude, just fought to get on the train. I've never, I will say, I've never been so close to that many men in my life. Sweaty. Men just rubbing on, and I'm like this, holding onto the handles because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I have Walter's camera on, it's being smashed into my body, and I'm like nuts to butts in every direction nuts. you could like imagine. I'm just like, it's just happening. And then we had to get off through those people. You guys, you get your bike. Right? That's, that's not possible, Tom. We stop fucking shut. Oh, 
Yeah, that was wild. And then we were in Bandra. I've never seen anything like Bandra before. People. People. And people. And people. And horns. And people and horns. Tuck tuck. Too crazy yeah, I'm to explain. speechless about that place, really. I don't know. It was really crazy. I think it was like 30 minutes after we got the banjo until we found the first spot. Pretty much any clip you see, we didn't get to ride that spot more than doing that one trick. <laughs> well, I feel like that first spot, we were all so hyped that we even found a spot. It was the first time in an entire day and a half of riding around looking for something to ride that we had seen something that we could actually ride. But there was a massive crowd of people around and it was in this big intersection, so there's honking and horns everywhere. There was 150 people watching. A solid wall. And within, I mean, 10 minutes? Not, uh, probably, probably five, five four, dude. Yeah, couple like minutes, really. Four. We, you know, we, yeah, we were getting arrested. Yeah, cops just show up out of nowhere. Nathan's, Nathan's doing a truck drive, or a fake truck. cameras. Pulled it perfect. But as Walter's filming, the cops just like tapping the camera down. Huh? We're a uh, documentary? Where are we going? I have no idea. I'm going to the police station. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, no, I'm not giving you my camera. What did we do wrong? So anyways, we're at the police station for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It all went well once we we calmed them down and it was, yeah, they let us go. Oh, and it was all because Walter shoots photos. <laughs> Not because of the riding. They don't care about riding. <laughs> no. yeah. yeah, that one was crazy. Both so many times that we almost got arrested. <laughs> and then we uh, made a pit stop at the Hyatt. We were in some of the dirtiest places I've ever been in my life. We took a left turn, and we were at one of the nicest Hyatt hotels I've ever seen. In Fashion Week. In Fashion Week. <laughs> I've never been on a trip where I was so overwhelmed and shocked with the things I had seen that like I needed to like have a slice of home in me. This is uh, one of those trips that whenever people ask you how it went, you don't have anything to say. You just, uh, it's crazy. 
yeah. fucking crazy. Actually, it's really hard to yeah. explain how crazy it is too. I mean, even just through video or photos, like I don't feel like any of it would do it justice unless you came here and just experienced yeah. it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. wild. That's it. See you later. Thanks. <laughs>